Okay, everybody, and here we have um, AMD uh, putting out a plug-in for uh, Blender. Um, it's a physically based rendering engine. It, it kind of goes with it, right? And um, it's fully in integrated into Blender 2.8 uh, and higher, and is for Microsoft Windows, Mac. Uh, Linux meaning you can use existing lights, materials, and textures, and it renders your geometry accurately. Um, it, it comes with a library of materials to get you started. Um, it's used for uh, rendering product designs, architectural visualizations, visual effects, and more. And as you can see, uh, hold on here, I'll go up into here and do this okay come on scroll down no, 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 no. so here's uh, some of the things that it can do All right stop doing that OBS god I hate the way this thing scrolls detailed features <coughs> we'll go down to that okay detailed features okay support for volumes Allowing artists to render advanced effects like smoke, fog, and clouds, uh, even more realistically, uh, adaptive, adaptive sub, uh, subdivision can speed up work flows. So it, what it's doing is it's it, it's using the this plugin and the graphics card to help uh, speed up things, which were up until now more CPU and and CPU core based okay this is a kick in the face to Intel okay because it seems like Nvidia and AMD have kind of semi partnered to give it to uh, Intel a bit here which I'm all for that because Intel's just overpriced garbage as far as I'm concerned with all that specter and all that crap that they you know they they didn't care about anybody's security they just wanted to just throw stuff at it and it's the same thing i was trying to discuss about uh yesterday with the internet of things stuff they just threw this technology out there and didn't give a shit about the consequences but these guys they're they're doing some really good stuff here uh hair geometry adaptive sampling um built uh, on OpenCL and Metal 2. It's hardware agnostic, so it runs virtually on any hardware, including virtually any combination of GPUs and CPUs. So they have done something interesting that way. They're, they're, um, hmm. And anyway, the, the one caveat is um, it will use more CPU on a Mac, so once again showing you that Mac OS is pss, eh. uh, if you're gonna go with a BSD go with the open BSD it's the most secure of them all I don't care what anybody says there anyhow um, uh, comes with 300 plus materials uh, that use the radon pro render uber shader um, materials use native butter shader nodes um, Let's see here. What else is kind of neat here? Lighting. Uh, so it's got some stuff for lighting. It's got stuff for cameras, workflows, speeding up things. So it's a good thing. I'll put a link in the description so people can try it out. Uh, you know, there are there was a thing where um, Blender was going to do a live show tomorrow about importing stuff into Unreal Engine, and um, I thought it was about rigging, and then I read up on it, and it's about this guy at Steam who's doing a I don't know something to do with cameras and I went and looked at his app and half the people there are wishing they hadn't have paid for it because it's not well it's interesting most of them say it's not it's very rough okay and of course the guy that's gonna uh, you know so it's probably gonna get some good development here because they're they're saying this guy works for unreal right so um anyway you can buy that that thing over at uh, uh see that's the thing if you're gonna put these things out you got to put enough out for free to get adoption okay 
putting out an app that's not finished that's a bit expensive and uh, is not going to get you anywhere you're going to just get some rich people who will do whatever and that's it you want to include the rest of the world and get something really going wait until you're finished a bit more then put it out and put it out real cheap or f do the first do it like this for the first year you're going to be free because you need and, and you can and you can say this i want i want to get some feedback from everybody on anything because people do things with your stuff that you're never going to figure on doing yourself okay and then it might cause a problem so if you get that feedback think about that as proper beta testing they're being you're giving them the app and then they're doing the, you the favor of, of telling you when they run into errors and bugs and whatnot but anyway um, yeah so this will be interesting to see how this works because I'm I'm beginning to lean um, if, if you know uh, I may end up leaning into uh, uh, getting a new PC altogether and just, you know, uh, get a, like a motherboard from AMD and a, and a graphics card, you know, because then um, I'll have some scalability and then I'll go move up into the SSD stuff. Like, I, I really don't like those things because it just it just feels like a type of hardware that will eventually fail and they're doing that on purpose so that I can't store things longer term and, and it's just a money grab that's that's the way i feel about ssds i i don't i know they're faster i know yeah blah 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 right the the question is if i was making money doing lots of stuff maybe i would get that because then i could back it up onto something uh like some blu-rays because i have a blu-ray writer yeah yeah that's right eh yeah, it's a portable blu-ray writer i can plug it into anybody's windows machine it's really cool <laughs> runs right off two usb ports anyhow yeah they don't make those anymore trust me hollywood don't like that shit but anyway um great storage though anyway um but yeah so that that's some ideas right anyway this is pretty neat i'll, I'll give this a look over later and, and do some testing anyway have a good one guys